in this system.io tutorial i will show you how to add a live visitor counter in your system.io funnel so in this video i will cover how you can add this without any code without copy so the first step will be click the first link in the description and you will come to this website which is a widget builder and using this widget builder we will add the live counter option in our system is sales funnel so all you need to do is to is click on start free and create a free account with your email after that you will redirect a dashboard something like this now we need to add our website in the system so we need to authenticate this app into our website this widget builder into our website so all you need to do is to click on click new website then you need to give a name the name will be according to my website it should include the subdomains and it should include my domain name with www dot okay so this is my domain name then you need to click uh, create site then you just need to choose one of them click on create after that we need to add the code in our website so what we need to do you need to click on add to your html just copy the whole code now go log into your system funnel and go back to your original domain page what i mean by that if i click on learn with jahin so this is my original learn with jahin.com domain it does not have forward slash anything but if i show, show you the thank you page it will have something in forward slash like forward slash uh, thank you page forward slash thank you page okay if i add the code in this domain forward slash thank you page it will not work this widget builder will not work i need to add the code into the actual widget into the actual uh, domain this one www.learnwithjahin.com then come to a page which your original domain name uh, situated then click on edit page and we need to add the code into that website builder okay so let's uh, click on edit code and this will open the system editor now let's go back to the setting after loading the panel click on the setting and scroll down we need to click on this edit header code and then paste the code here the code that you have copied from here then click on save and then click save changes okay save changes then come back here click on verify pixel and this should verify the pixel okay let's uh, wait for some moment it will take some time it will take some time okay click verify pixel and you will find a pop-up will open and it will run through our website to verify the pixel so you can see learn with jahin.com this is the page where we added the code into our setting so let's see if it can verify the code and it will be verified as we added it properly now you can see the pixel is activated okay now let's go back to the home page click on their logo and now let's add the widget in our website click on new notification and then uh, new notification then if you scroll down you will find the live live uh, people visitors or all visitors okay uh, we need to click on live visitors so click on create widget move your mouse and click on create widget after that it will open the editor for us so i will give this a name live visitor okay live visitor then this is the uh, customization we can do like 15 people you can change people to something else like customers and also are now online on this page we can change this to something else as well we can show us live visitor or static visitor like if static is 20 to 15 the fixed number of your visitor will be displayed should it show only to all the time uh, or less it, we can make it static to 10 okay but i would like to go with the live you can just put a notification to this some url if you want to okay put your notification url here yeah but i will not go with this update so i'll click on update choose save the changes and then there is a trigger option if i click on the trigger trigger on all pages if you want to show it all pages then do that and if you want to show it in the particular pages then we need to just turn it off and put the url here okay put the url here like learn with jahin.com something like this forward slash landing page if you want to show it in a particular page then this url the particular url page should be there or if you want to show it in all the pages then just turn it on display trigger after how many second it should be showed it should be showed after one second or scroll percentage i would like to show it after one second display frequency all the time or once per visit session you can do it and you can also disable this in mobile but i would like to show it in the mobile so click on update and then uh, there is a display setting as well display if you click on the display uh, you can see display duration if you want to show it on, it only for five seconds you can do that or you can increase it to at least 15 seconds okay the position in the bottom left you can make it in that top 
but bottom should be nice and you can also display close button as well so i click on update and there is another panel called customize which will allow us to change the colors everything in the design like if you see there is a blue color in this design we can change this using the customize panel so it is updating so now click on customize and now you can change the numbers color everything can be changed from here like description color background color everything can be changed so click on update and now uh, this is a notification has been saved now we need to make it live so to make it live you know, just need to click the change the status you need to turn it on okay just click it turn it on and it should be worked fine in our website so now let's click on notification to see uh, it is already there okay so you can see live visitor it is already there this one i have i think i have uh, tried in the past so this is active okay this is this one is active now let's see our website uh, from a new window so now uh, so if you see this is this where it is showing okay like one people are now online on this page so as you can see in our domain it is correctly showing the live preview but if you want to add this to other pages it will work we just need to copy paste the code the pixel code to other pages as well okay so uh, so this is working properly